I woke up mid-rape, essentially. An explosive allegation that throws the spotlight once again on the culture inside Parliament House. He was sweaty. I couldn't get him off of me. At this point, I started crying. The evening was a get-to-know-you. Political staffers new to the defence portfolio meeting industry types and department officials. It got boozy and ended in an allegation of sexual assault in a minister's office. What did you say to him? I told him to stop. Did he? No. Brittany Higgins worked as a media advisor for the Liberal government. This was my dream job. I had worked my entire life to get here. That night in March 2019, she'd taken a taxi with a fellow Liberal staffer. Instead of dropping her home, the pair ended up in Defence Minister Linda Reynolds' office. Affected by alcohol, Ms Higgins rested on a couch, later finding herself half undressed, her colleague on top of her. Everyone should feel safe in their workplace. At all times, Mr Speaker, guidance was sought from Ms Higgins as to how she wished to proceed. Labor questioning whether Ms Higgins had been encouraged not to pursue the matter with police. It is a reasonable question to ask whether or not this woman thought, understood that her job would be secure regardless of her decision. There was no indication for me at all um, that her job was at risk. And in fact, as I said, it was my suggestion to her that she consider talking to the Australian Federal Police. The government insists everything was done to support Ms Higgins, that she went on to be promoted. But the alleged victim maintains she felt pressured. And that was the really clarifying moment for me where I fully sort of internalised that this is a political issue, my job is in, on the line for this. Brittany Higgins was inspired by Australian of the Year Grace Tame to go public with her story. She told the ABC that remaining silent would make her complicit. The police say the case remains open and Ms Higgins says she wants to take it further. But any workplace that leaves victims fearful about their career prospects is one that needs fixing. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.